I think when I was 13, around the time I hit puberty and I noticed a lot of physical changes. When I was 15 years old, I went to a counselor, but I didn't really feel comfortable opening up. My parents had sent me, and I just really didn't feel comfortable open up, opening up because I was underage. So I kind of gave up in, when I was around 15. Because I, I mean, I had been feeling depression, which is why I had started. Uh, when I was 19 to 20, I noticed I was acting out, doing things I wouldn't normally do. I went to a free clinic at the time that was providing, that was providing counseling, but they could only provide interpreters for three or four times because of their limited funding, so that's all I could take advantage of. So when I was 23, my oldest son was born. He was about six months old at the time I started experiencing postpartum depression. And at the time, it, everything became worse. I started to cut myself. I was thinking of hurting myself. I went to counseling. It was not a good experience. After around two or three months, I decided I was not going to continue to go there. They would not provide interpreters, and I was unable to completely express my feelings and my thoughts, so that person really didn't help me at all. They didn't want to pay for an interpreter, and so as a result of that, my services were stopped. When my oldest was around eight or nine and my daughter was around four or five, I'd gone to another counselor at that time and I'd had several suicide attempts in the meantime. So I went to yet another counselor for my fourth try and I thought it was going along pretty well. And my diagnosis was severe depression along with OCD. I wasn't aware of that. They took me they gave me medication and it seemed to work. Um, it was going really well with the counselor. After one year, the counselor decided that I didn't need any more services. They weren't really committed to my mental health. I mean, I have specific linguistic needs and I'm easily misunderstood. And that can really affect my language when I'm depressed. And that counselor stopped services with me. And that just really worsened my depression. And I hid it for many years. Till about two years ago, I, at that point I had blown up at my children over very small things, easily resolved. And I had gone off my medication. I had run out. My family doctor did not want to prescribe it until I went back to counseling, and I thought I could handle it. I was wrong. I did not handle it very well. My boyfriend even noticed. He encouraged me to go to counseling, but I didn't listen either until, and it wasn't until my children said something that really drove the point home that I needed help. So I decided to call my family doctor and told him I needed to see him, it was an emergency. So I made an appointment and I told him, I'm ready to give it all up. I'm, I feel so confused inside, I don't think clearly. I am not myself anymore and I really needed help now. 
and at that appointment at that office with the interpreter and the doctor, from that point on, I've been seeing a counselor for the last two years. I'm on a new medication, I'm in new therapy, a new treatment. I finally met a counselor. Truly, I was scared to death it would be another failure, but it wasn't. It was very successful, and it has been for the last two years. I never thought I would meet someone who could understand me. Through this experience of therapy, through this experience of therapy, I have learned about DBT, dialectic behavior therapy. And I've learned that when I'm feeling angry and frustrated, that I need to calm myself down, and I have learned an analytical way to do that. And I works with my mom, <laughs> my boyfriend, and my children, and my coworkers or friends. Family therapy with my children has really helped me to learn to like myself more. And it has also helped me learn to communicate with my children and build a much stronger bond and a much better relationship with them, and we can do things together as a family. I have learned so much about myself. I'm able to manage my depression, how to manage my temper, how to communicate with my children better, even. I have a healthy relationship with my boyfriend, and I have a healthy relationship with myself, even. I decided to tell my story because I don't want other people to go through what I went through. And I want people to realize there's nothing wrong if you have an issue. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's possible to live a healthy life. It's, if you wait, it can be too late. So I want to give other people hope. I've noticed in the deaf community other people who've had similar behaviors to me and they feel that those behaviors were normal and they don't realize that it's a mental illness. I had no role model. So I didn't really know what was right and what was wrong regarding appropriate behaviors. I feel I'm a completely new person. I'm a new mom. I have boys that are 13 and 16 years old and I still feel like I'm a new mom all over again because I have a new relationship with my children. It's wonderful. I feel I'm a completely new person. I am starting to finally understand who Dory is.